Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel again. So dear friends, we are discussing the model question paper for the mathematics subject for CSE stream students. So, so far we have discussed the uh, problem on ANOVA. Okay, today I am with the another problem uh, from the model question paper set 2. Okay, in the previous video we had discussed the model question paper number 1, question number 9A. In this uh, video we will discuss model question paper 2, question number 9A over here. Okay. The three types of fertilizers are used on three groups of plants for five weeks. We want to check if there is a difference in the mean growth of each group using the data given below. Apply a one-way ANOVA test at 5% significant level. Okay, as I earlier told in the previous video that ANOVA is a technique where we are supposed to calculate the means of three groups or more than three groups. Okay, where there is only a one factor. So there is a procedure actually there is ANOVA table also see here this is your ANOVA table which consists of source of variation sum of squares degree of freedom mean square and F ratio to reach this particular table there is a procedure okay which you have to follow and uh, reach this particular table and calculate some values over here then you can calculate at last the mean value okay so let me uh, follow that procedure over here this is your question the interface of your question while writing solution you should draw three tables first of all draw this table as it is then total just sum up these terms okay once you just sum these terms you will get t1 is equal to 30 then uh, add up these terms you will get 54 then add up these terms you will get 60 then calculate this whole total over here 60 plus 50 is 110 114 plus 30 144 so t is equal to 144 over here okay now you have to calculate these uh, squares of these totals okay now let me calculate the squares of these terms over here so 30 square it is equal to 900 okay write down 900 then 54 square that is 54 whole square is equal to 2916 right then 60 square 60 square is equal to 3600 3600 then uh, sum it uh, sum up these terms okay actually it is not needed in the formula so we can avoid this one okay now let me proceed it with the formula over here okay so ssc which is sum of squares okay between the samples were there okay it is always equal to t1 square divided by n1 plus t2 square divided by n2 plus t3 square divided by n3 minus t square upon n okay so it is sum of squares between the sample as there is only two possibilities sum of squares between the samples sum of squares within the samples okay first of all we have to calculate this in order to reach that particular table which i have showed you earlier now write down the values t1 square it is 900 divided by n1 n1 is the number of terms 1 2 3 4 5 6 number of columns are 6 so i can take 6 over here plus t2 square is 2916 2916 divided by 6 right plus t3 square means 3600 upon n3 means 6 minus t t is equal to 144 144 whole square divided by n n is the total number of observations 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 or simply 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 multiplied by 3 is 18 so i can divide it by 18 over here so let me calculate first here ssc we can easily calculate this one like 900 divided by 6 plus 2916 divided by sorry first of all make sure you will enter this one 2916 upon 6 then plus sorry plus divide start 3600 divided by 6 then minus 144 square minus sorry 144 whole square divided by 18 which is equal to 84 so your ssc value is 84 now you are supposed to calculate another value that is ssc sse which is the sum of squares within the samples okay so in order to calculate this uh, ssc so it is a uh, formula is sst minus ssc okay but ssc we have calculated sst we need to calculate over here so sst there is a formula which is equal to summation of xi square minus t square by n okay so until we have not uh, calculated this xi summation of xi square so in order to calculate this one another table you have to draw okay so you have to take squares of these numbers 6 square is 
minus t already we have calculated here okay so that is 144 square divided by n is number of observation is 18 so i can calculate it now so 1364 minus 144 square divided by 18 right so it is equal to 212 so sst we have calculated to 212 so now we can calculate sum of squares within the samples which is equal to sst sst value is 212 minus ssc value is 84 so 212 minus 84 you are getting 128 which is equal to 128 so all calculations are done now now you have to put down these uh, particular parameters in the ANOVA table see here ANOVA table is here now put down the values what is the ssc value we have got in the above step 84 write down 84 then what is the sse value 128 okay write down 128 then what is the S, sorry SST value 212 okay so write down here 212 then we are supposed to calculate the degree of freedom so how many groups are there it indicates k over here k minus 1 k means how many number of groups there are 1 2 3 fertilizers are 3 over here so write down 3 minus 1 so degree of freedom will be 2 okay n is the number of observation that is 18 minus k is simply 3 which you will get 15 over here so degree of freedom are this one now n minus 1 is 18 minus 1 is 17 okay 17 is total now msc mean square you are supposed to calculate so ssc we have already calculated as value is at 84 so 84 upon k minus 1 k is 3 minus 1 so 84 divided by 2 84 divided by 2 is equal to 42 so 42 you are getting msc value then mse is equal to sse divided by n minus k sse value is 128 so 128 divided by n means number of observation 18 minus 3 so 128 divided by 15 128 divided by 15 you are getting 8.5 so which is equal to 8.533 so now you have to check which is maximum in this case then accordingly we can calculate the f ratio f ratio is always equal to which is greater first you have to take into the numerator so obviously here msc is greater than so msc divided by mse so it is equal to 42 divided by 8.53 see here this is 42 divided by 8.53 which is equal to 4.92 right so write down here as 4.92 is the f ratio I have calculated uh, in the last video you can refer that one okay from the distribution table how we can calculate it okay so from that table you can easily calculate the standard value of f is equal to 4.92 sorry at uh, degrees of freedom 2 comma 15 so at f 2 comma 15 there is a standard value so in that particular video I have told you the value of f of 2 comma 15 the f ratio value is 3.68 it is the standard okay 3.68 so but the calculated value is 4.92 in this case so it is obviously greater than 3.68 it should be less than 3.68 but in this case 4.92 is greater than 3.68 therefore i can say that our hypothesis is rejected in this case okay so now i can write down in the conclusion 
सो कंक्लूजन इज कंक्लूजन एट फाइव परसेंट लेवल ऑफ फाइव परसेंट लेवल ऑफ सिग्निफिकेंस ओके फाइव परसेंट लेवल ऑफ सिग्निफिकेंस सॉरी लॉट ऑफ एक्सटर्नल डिस्टर्बेंसेज आर दियर सो आई हैव टू कंप्रोमाइज विद इट अदरवाइज देर इज नो ऑप्शन फॉर मी सो एट फाइव परसेंट लेवल ऑफ सिग्निफिकेंस सो यूर वैल्यू कैलकुलेटेड वैल्यू इज कमिंग फोर पॉइंट नाइन टू इट इज ऑब्वियसली ग्रेटर दैन थ्री पॉइंट सिक्स एट सो वी कैन राइट डाउन वर हाइपोथिस hypothesis is accepted okay so this was all about this particular question so hope it is clear to you people so and uh, make sure you will share this video to all your friends thank you so much and uh, all the best for your examinations